Hey, Deliberto Technology here, introducing the new T5 smartwatch and fitness tracker. You can see here there's a couple of different faces that you can scroll through, a detailed face, a really nice plain face. Uh, the watch itself actually looks really well built. There's a chrome ring around the front bezel. Looks really nice. Nice machined button and then the, uh, the injection molded plastic case on the back actually has a nice textured feel to it. You can see the heart rate monitor there in the center, and then their charging port is on the side, and the way you charge this watch is with this little cradle. So you pop the cradle open, place the watch in like that, snap it closed, plug it into any USB charger, and uh, it will charge in just a couple of hours, actually. If you look, I'm wearing one of the watches now, so you can see that there's additional functions. We just swipe to the side. Swipe to the side to get to those, so there's a heart rate monitor. You can see my heart's beating at uh, 88 bits per minute. Push the button to go back. It's got a blood pressure monitor. That usually takes a few seconds to kick in, so I'm not gonna make you wait for that one. Info's really handy when you're pairing the watch to the companion app, just in case you need to see the Mac address of the watch. I mean, normally it comes up as smartwatch in your phone's Bluetooth, but uh, it just depends. Weather, it's a local weather report. The training app uh, actually synchronizes with the uh, the companion app, so you've got running, biking, a variety of different sports. And you can see I've just started it now. And then when I'm done, just click the button again, and it's going to synchronize with the app on your phone to show you the results of your training. Find the watch, or find your phone. Uh, this is for restarting, really handy, or shutting the power off to the watch completely. And you can do that at night when you charge it. You don't need to, but once in a while you'll need to reboot the phone or reboot the reboot the watch, and that's how you do it. And then brightness here, you just keep tapping the screen to go through various different brightness levels. You can see the one that I'm wearing has a nice black band. The one that I showed you a minute ago has a pink band. It's also available in white, and these are both silicone bands. Uh, you can, and the watch is uh, IP68 waterproof. So you could wear this while you were swimming or doing a lot of like sweat generating activities without any issues. Just wipe it dry, it's really great. It's also available with a black or brown leather band. Uh, those are available online. And then you can see here the package that the watch comes in. Some really handy things uh, besides just holding the watch. On the side of the package, there's three QR codes. The bottom one is the iPhone App Store. The middle one is an Android direct download, and the top is the Google Play Store. So however your phone needs to get apps, you can use any one of those QR codes to download the companion app. The companion app is called Glory Fit, so you can always search for it in any of the app stores as well. And when you download that, there's the app on the phone. So you can see the, the overview page that's giving me an overview of where I stand right now. It doesn't need to be synchronized to your watch all the time. Hmm. Glory Fit. So this is the Glory Fit app. So you can see it's got a sleep tracker and it's actually asking me, did I wear the device last night because it doesn't have any records of me sleeping. Uh, I, I didn't, so that's why that is. Uh, heart rate, and it's going to give you these over time. I just put the watch on 10 minutes ago, so it's not giving me a lot of data. We talked about the sports training in the fitness tracker, this is the, where the results you will see. So you can have walking, outdoor running, bicycling, etc. The device itself has a number of different settings. Heart rate settings, you can have it choose to track your heart rate automatically, which I've turned on, which is why you saw that graph. You can have it come with a notification when, you, when your phone rings. You can do um, app notifications, so all of these different apps when you receive a message from Twitter or WhatsApp or Facebook, you can just select those and it'll pop up the notification on the device. Sedentary reminder, so if you wanted to remind you to you know, walk or stand up every hour, you can just set that to on. It's got an alarm clock, different uh, do not disturb settings, and there's a couple of other in here. You can do a find device. SMS, so you can have it um, display your text messages on the watch, 24 hour or not. So if you want a standard 12 hour schedule, then you can select that off like so. And then profile, so you can create a, a glory fit profile online and you can track, you know, like male, female, what your size and weights are. So this way it can track your health over time. And that can synchronize with your Apple Fit uh, and, or, um, or WeChat Fit if you have that. And that's it. That's the GloryFit app companion for iPhone and Android.